Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful spring card. It looks kind of like a rainy day, doesn't it? I've used lots of water coloring on this card and um, I thought I'd give it a, make a video and show you guys how to do it. So I'm using this fun bundle under the umbrella from Stamping Up. It's in the January to June 2020 spring catalog. Um, and this comes as a bundle and you can see that the punch we'll punch out those three pieces, but we're just gonna use this right here. I've decided on mine to just give it a white uh, handle. All right, now the first thing that we're gonna do is that background, because you're gonna need to give it some time to dry. I have taken a four by five and a fourth piece of watercolor paper um, and just taped it down to just a piece of chipboard that'll hold it that'll hold your paper down so it doesn't curl when you get that water in there. <clears throat> we're gonna use Coastal Gabbana, and I'm just gonna squeeze the ink like this so that I have some ink on the lid. If you don't like to do that, you can take a clear block and, and stamp it on that and use that as your palette. Now the first thing I wanna do is get my paper nice and wet. So I'm just gonna use my spritzer and spritz it all over. Okay, then I've got my aqua painter with some water in it. I'm gonna squeeze it so that I get some water here like that. And then I'm just gonna come over here and just kind of start dropping color into the water. All right, now you can do several layers of this, give it some time to dry and then go over it again, or you can do just one layer, whichever you like. And I'm just gonna kind of leave it to do its own thing. If you squeeze the water, it'll be lighter. You can see how it's run off there. I kind of like that too. All right, and then you can leave it. Um, you can add color, you can do however you want, but I'm just gonna leave this for now. And luckily for us, because of the video, I have made one ahead of time and we don't actually have to wait for it to dry, okay? But at home, you'll have to just set it aside for maybe 10 or 15 minutes and let it dry, depending on how much water you've used. Now, in the meantime, we're going to stamp these umbrellas, we're gonna emboss them um, in white embossing powder on shimmer white cardstock. I've decided to use shimmer white this time. You can use your watercolor uh, or your aqua painter on shimmer white or, or, or <laughs> watercolor paper, goodness. Um, but I'm gonna use shimmer white this time. So the first thing you wanna do, since we're gonna emboss, is to take your embossing buddy and Rub it all over your paper. That's gonna release any static clean that might be there. Okay, now I'm gonna stamp this three times in Versamark. And I'm doing it down towards the edge of the paper so that when I punch, I'll be able to reach it. Oops. All right, now white embossing powder. So you won't really be able to see it too much because this paper is white. All right, so let's sprinkle it back in there. And let's see, yep, looks pretty good. You can kind of thump it, make sure you don't have those little uh, powder specks anywhere else. Now you're gonna get your heat tool. It's gonna take about 10 or 15 seconds to really heat up to get to the right temperature. And once it does, it's gonna turn that white embossing um, shiny, you'll see it. Uh, when it turns, it's very obvious. There, now I can see it turning. Can you guys see that right there? See how it looks different? Shiny and bright white. All right, now once your, your um, embossed image is set, grab your aqua painter. You need to squeeze it out onto um, just a paper towel to get rid of that color that was in there before. And we're gonna start with Grapefruit Grove. Again, I just squeezed the ink there. And I'm just gonna come over here and color in that image. Now the embossed lines will resist the color, which is really neat. And that way you'll be able to see those lines now. All right, now I got out of the line there, but that's okay, because we're gonna punch it out. Now let's do terracotta tile. 
why is it that my puppies decide to have a wrestling match when I start making a video? I hope you guys can't hear them back there. They are, <laughs> I don't know if they're taking on the fact that I'm talking to myself, which they think I'm doing right now as a uh, clue, a cue to <laughs> start wrestling, but apparently that's their time to start wrestling. All right. Now, last color is Mango Melody. Oops, I didn't squeeze that enough. There we go. And I'm gonna get that a little bit wet. It's good to get your paper wet before you start. You can see that dark drop of color right there is because the paper was pretty dry when I set down my aqua painter. Sometimes that happens. So if you will wet your paper, it will prevent that from happening. Okay, there. Now let's give those a few minutes to dry as well. And we're gonna come back and here's my pre-done watercolor. See this right here? This is me coming back and doing a second wash. Um, this is the first wash and I added some more color on there. I kind of wish now that I had left it alone, but we're gonna go with it. Okay, now I'm gonna add some more, um, move this so I don't get that. I wanted to add some more texture. So I'm going to take my light Bermuda Bay stamp and blend and I'm going to use the brush side to add some more splashes. Just however many you think. Then I'm going to grab my memento and I'm going to stamp showered with love right down here at the bottom. Okay now I have a coastal cabana card base right here and we're going to put a little bit of a little bit extra adhesive to hold down that thick paper this was four by five and a fourth if I didn't already mention that all right there we go okay so now that's ready let's come back over punch out our umbrellas okay there's one now I have two other videos on how to use this punch with your stamps. So make sure you hop over to my blog. You'll see the description on in the YouTube um, description. You'll see the link there. Um, so hop over and you'll find a PDF with all the products that I'm using today and any measurements that you need as well as two other projects. Now I'm just gonna come over here on the edge and I'm just gonna do a white handle for each one. Okay, one more. There we go. Now let's turn those over like this and line up those handles and pay attention to the direction that your handle goes. You want it to be the same direction, I think. I mean, I guess it wouldn't totally matter if you wanted them to face different directions, but I wanted mine to be all the same. Now, I could use regular adhesive, but this is like the cheater method. Just put a dimensional right there because I was gonna stick these on with dimensionals anyway onto the card. So this is just giving us a head start with our dimensionals. Now, I'm gonna add a couple more. It's probably overkill, but you know, in my world, you can never have too many dimensionals. Okay. Now, let's bring back our card base. Turn over our cards. We've got mango, whoops. Let's see, we're gonna start at the bottom. <laughs> Don't let your, your umbrella stick to everything. All right, there we go, we've got mango. Then we've got Grapefruit Grove, and last but not least, Terracotta Tile. And you know, showered with love, it made me think, you know what, we really should use these adorable little epoxy hearts. Let's see if I can find a tool to get these off. And your take your pick tool is your best choice, but mine right now has my dye brush on it. So we're just gonna go with a paper piercer. All right, so I'm gonna put a few around and a few little ones. 
maybe right down here. And last but not least, we're gonna add a twine bow because I love twine and I love bows. So I thought this would be great to take and just tie over here around the seam of the card. Now you could also do this with the other umbrella image, the closed umbrella, which would be cute as well. All right, if I can get my bow tied, there we go. Let's cut a little bit. I wanna keep these kind of long like that. And voila, what do you guys think? Pretty fun, isn't it? Now make sure you hop over, grab the that PDF, and give this technique a try for yourself. Let me know if you have questions, you guys. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.